good afternoon once again from COP29 in Baku, Azerbaijan. Very pleased to welcome uh, Mr. Munam Billahom, uh, Group CEO of Sustainable Square, one of the leading uh, consultancies in ESG across the Middle East uh, and one of the main thought leaders in our region. Thank you very much. Uh, we are here in Baku. We uh, were at uh, uh, Jitex Impact uh, uh, around uh, 15 months ago, if you remember, True. when you launched uh, your first software. True. Uh, so what can you tell us in this regard, in terms of uh, uh, in this regard? Of course, uh, Jitex was a very good uh, uh, opportunity for us to launch our first um, uh, SaaS system that, uh, mm -hmm. that is the first in the world that auto-generates sustainability and auto draft sustainability reports. We know that companies spend a lot of money, a lot of investment, a lot of time yeah. and effort. And this really and had a shortcut. That facilitated. Shortcut just to you know, disrupt the global production of sustainability reports. So what is the impact of it basically on companies? We, yeah. We've noticed that despite the fact that the, the software is not 100% complete, we've managed to drop down the investment and the effort to yeah. 40% yeah. today. ESG, as you know, especially in the Middle East and globally, uh, many think that it's just a report, an annual report to be posted on the uh, corporate website, followed by a press release uh, due to regulatory uh, necessities. Yes. How can we basically make it clear to all companies that ESG is a daily culture? That leads to a report. Very, very good question, Salah. I think, I think companies in the Middle East, they have kind of pushed their maturity level to understand that a report is just a celebration yes. of all the efforts and all the commitments and all the uh, uh, you know practices that you put throughout the year. But there are so many different indicators that that really enlighten this yeah. process within companies. Like for example, when rating agencies are rating companies yeah. based on ESG performance, they don't rate them based on the report. Yeah. They rate them based on you have a commitment, you have a strategy, you have indicators, you have an impact you know within the organization or not. So it's not just about the report itself. Yeah. There are so many other factors and stakeholders that are really scrutinized companies when it comes to practices or the report. Yeah. And the report comes as a celebration yeah. later on. Yeah. Uh, carbon tax, we saw in your presentation, uh, Europe, uh, EU is heading really uh, straightforward in this regard, not yet in the Middle East. Uh, are we ready in the Middle East for a tax carbon, carbon I, tax? I, I, think, I, think, I think we are ready. In some jurisdictions, we are ready for carbon taxation. And, and uh, w w the first question should be, why are we doing it? Yeah. Because there are so many exporters in the Arab world, in the GCC, on couple of products that the EU said enough dumping their emission yeah. in our territory. Yeah. So in order to avoid double taxation yeah. for me as a country in the GCC, why would I pay carbon yeah. taxation to Europe? Yeah. Why I don't pay it inside my, okay. my jurisdiction? So this is one of the factors that yeah. will accelerate the process for yeah. carbon taxation. Uh, frame uh, uh, timeline uh, to adopt it in the Middle East. Uh, some people say four years, five years. I don't think. You believe more optimistic two years? I'm very optimistic that within two years we should be able to have a carbon taxation with the Middle East. I'm very optimistic. Are we ready for it? Corporations, are they, re are they ready? Corporations are maturing with the time. That's what we're seeing. You know, we're seeing the corporates more and more. They, they Wouldn't they resist a bit that it's too soon, not yet? The same I don't terminology think, I don't think so because, in, because, because the EU has mandated it already. Yes. So in order for me to avo avoid paying it in Europe, why wouldn't pay it in my jurisdiction? So it is coming, it's fat I think it's coming, I think it's, it's coming. imminent, two years. To uh, avoid paying it in Europe, I can't pay it in my jurisdiction. I think it's coming. Yeah, Monam, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure, Salah. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.